Allah will be the one who will be the one who will be the one who will be the So thank you very much for uh, asking about the um, importance of this historic day. Uh, we laid the first brick uh, for high school students, which will lead toward uh, a university that we are currently building in Toba. The vision of Shah Ahmad Mbaki Gaini Fatma was so lofty that people failed to understand why he was at the time implementing schools, a school system in the 1960s, very early, right after independence. And for that reason, people misunderstood and misinterpreted what he intended to do for the people. Uh, what he intend intended to do was simple and is simple, and that is to inculcate knowledge to people. Knowledge in which, uh, knowledge which the Quran insists on. In the first, very first verse that was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad said, Iqra, read. S and the Prophet said, seek knowledge from the, from the cradle to the grave. Or seek knowledge even if you go to China. When saying China, he did not mean go to China to study Islamic jurisprudence, because he was right there in Mecca and Medina. So he was talking about conformity with uh, Islam. So we, in, under these circumstances, in the march of the world, should make sure that uh, we, we inculcate knowledge to our kids and our grandkids uh, which will be of use to mankind in the first uh, step. The second step would be to have the other high schools named after Shah Muhammad al Fadl, Shah Muhammad al Bashir, Shah Muhammad al Lamin, in Kirkab, where Shah Ahmad Mahtar, Khalif of Dar Khudus, has given us two hectares. And that will be of, of equal importance. And toward the south of Senegal, uh, Shah Abdul Rahman is also looking to. Uh, for land to be able to put another high school there and then toward the east of Senegal another high school. Why in those four focal points? It's because uh, kids cannot travel from east to west by car and then learn properly. So we, uh, we have to accommodate those kids coming from faraway zones and put schools right there near to their neighborhood so that they can, be, they, they can go to school get enough rest, have enough sleep, and then be fresh when they go to school in the morning. So this is the reason why he's, uh, he talked about the four focal points of Tuba. And w they would go from there to uh, university. And like I said earlier, um, um, Tuba will need at least five universities. This is one that Shah Mahmoud Muntaha is building. We pray that Allah under makes uh, gives him a long life and a healthy um, uh, in a healthy manner. But uh, uh, this is one of five that should be here. Tuba is the second largest city in, in this country, and we should understand and real, realize that and act accordingly by understanding how the world turns and the march of the world towards uh, new horizons. So I think uh, we should be grateful to Allah that we are uh, assembled earlier today to lay the first brick, which will uh, lead to the first uh, of four or five high schools that uh, we intend to build, inshallah. So um, I think it's, uh, it's pretty clear that it's a challenge and we are working toward achieving our goals. And of course, under the leadership of Shah Abdul Rahman, and Shah Mustafa, uh, who is the Vice President of the Foundation, and all the family members involved, that are, that are the son, the children, the daughters, and of course, what you and I call the Taliban, which I'm part of. So thank you very much for asking the questions.